Welcome to this update on my Superfish 45 Scaper Dutch build, three weeks in. There's a link in the description to the first two videos in this series where I review the tank and do the initial planting. You will have noticed I have abandoned the dry start method and have flooded the tank. I'll explain why. I was curious about dry start to see if I could better establish the Monte Carlo carpet while managing a trade-off with the stems being less than ideal in a dry start. I find it tricky planting in a flooded tank, and given all my plants didn't arrive on time, and also that I'd underestimated how many I'd need and had to order more, dry start seemed like a convenient way to be able to add additional specimens as well as make minor adjustments to the layout as I went along. I was also waiting on my low-cost pressurised CO2 system to arrive, link in the description. So just three weeks in, I flooded the tank as the CO2 kit was here and some specimens weren't doing so well in dry start. The Monte Carlo carpet did really well and established good roots. The Rotala Vietnam HRA and Rotala Bonsai also did well, as did the Ludwigia palustratus. The Hemianthus micranthamoides wasn't looking as happy and its leaves had started losing their vibrant green colour. Worst of all, however, was the Pogostum erectus, with its lower leaves turning a bright purple colour. Thankfully it's recovering now it's been submerged. You'll notice I installed the Superfish supplied filter that came as part of the package with the tank. As I said during my review of the tank setup, the skimmer really doesn't work well, so I may well abandon this and just go for a dedicated surface skimmer. I'll post a further update in a couple of weeks to show you how things are going. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.